but I do love it. It is Aussie Instant Freeze. I use it the same. I just take the curl and kind of spray the bottom of it and then up through the root to let that hold and kind of give myself a little bit more volume. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer and today I'm going to be doing a hair care video. This is everything that I use on my hair from shampoos to conditioners, deep conditioners, hair masks, styling items, everything. If you like these kind of videos and you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button right down there and the bell notification so that you're alerted when I upload a new video. Today it's going to be all about hair. If you want to see what I use on my hair, please keep watching. Okay, I want to start this video by saying I have not gone to a salon in I think 20 years. I wash my hair myself, I style it myself, I color treat it myself, I do all my styling myself. So everything that I'm going to show you, I can actually purchase. You don't have to get it from a salon, you can get it online. Some of it I get from Sephora, some from Target, some from other sites. So I'm going to link everything below. But I think it's interesting if somebody does their hair themselves, which I do and I have for years, how do they do it? What do they use? So that's what I'm going to show you. Okay, the first thing I'm going to talk to you about is my shampoo. It is Verb. I purchased this from Sephora. It is cruelty-free. It is a deep conditioning shampoo, and I really think that it makes a big difference on my color-treated, heat-treated hair. So that's the shampoo that I use. It This is uh, 12 fluid ounces, and it's $18 and I got it at Sephora. Now, the conditioner I use is also from the same company. It is Verb. It's also, just like the shampoo, it's gluten-free, no parabens, no sulfate. I love this. I put this on after I shampoo and leave it in for like three to five minutes and then rinse it clean, and that's the conditioner I use. Now I do have a mask that I use once. I do this every time I wash my hair, which is typically every second or third day, sometimes fourth day, depending on how active and how much time I have. You all know what I'm talking about. About once a month, I will use a nourishing mask on my hair. And the one I really like is Pantene. I get it at CBS or Target. It's a hydrating mask. You just use about a tablespoon and you work it into your wet hair and you leave it in like five to seven minutes and then rinse it clean. It, this is the hydrating mask. And then I have an alternative to this if I don't have seven minutes. I can go in with this Rescue Shot. This is also Pantene. You kind of use it the same as a hydrating mask, but you don't leave it on as long and you rinse it clean like the hydrating mask. They're both from Pantene and I think sometimes if you've got color treated hair, if you have brittle hair or if you have damaged hair, you might have to go in with a mask or the Rescue Shots from Pantene. I have another product that I use, which is also, you're going to see a lot of hydrating here because I do have fine hair. I do have color treated hair. I do get in the swing pool and I use heat on my hair. This is Moroccan oil soothing lotion. You put this on your hair after you've washed it about, I would say uh, about a dime size up to a quarter size. And then you just kind of rub it all in your hair. It's a like a hydrating lotion and you don't rinse this out. You just kind of work it through your wet hair and then style as normal. And you could also do that throughout the week in between washings. If you feel like you've gotten too much uh, heat on it and it's starting to feel a little dry, then you can also use this Moroccan oil soothing lotion on it and then style your hair. Now, along with that same Moroccan oil, this is the Moroccan oil treatment and this is an oil. What you do is you put this on either wet hair or dry hair and you just work it in and it also, it's similar to the lotion except a little bit more hydrating. So if I really need a hydrating boost, I'll use a Moroccan oil treatment in place of the lotion. So either one of these, depending on how dry I feel my hair has gotten. Okay, I also have a blow dry protectant that I use every time I blow dry my hair. This is the Kendra Platinum Blow Dry Advanced Dry Thermal Protectant. I love this. It makes my hair smell so good and it helps protect my hair from blow drying or curling iron or hot iron or straightening everything that I put my hair through. It has got a real great smell to it. I just 
will spritz on it before I blow dry my hair, kind of work it in. Or if I'm going to do just do a curl, then what I'll do is I will take a strand of hair and I'll kind of do a light spritzing and then I'll curl my hair as normal and that just really helps protect it and keep it looking hydrating keep it looking hydrated and really helps protect it from all the heat that I put on it it's got a really great smell to it it makes you feel like you've been to a salon now, in between hair coloring days I also have a dry shampoo that I love this it's fairly new to me it is the Batiste colorant and it's this is in a brilliant blonde and what you do is you just shake it out in between hair coloring and it's got it like a, a yellow this this has a blonde colorant in it and i'll go mostly right there by my face and go right into the scalp where the part is work it in and what it does is it kind of gives me a, um, sometimes an extra week or two i don't like to color my hair more than every five weeks i love to push it to six because i don't like to put a lot of chemicals on my hair because i my hair gets a beating this really has helped me this is the batiste dry shampoo in brilliant blonde i love this also, this Batiste comes in different colors. I'll link that below. And if you have brown hair or really dark hair or red hair, then they do have other colors besides the blonde. Now, if you don't need a dry shampoo with colorant in it, then I recommend Suave. I've got the most... I think this has worked the best for me. I use this sometimes on fresh hair or first day hair because my hair is very fine and very straight and it helps put a little volume in it. So I go into the root area with Suave. This is a Suave Professional Dry Shampoo. I love this. This is my favorite dry shampoo other than that Batiste. And I used to get it at Publix, and then they quit carrying it. And then I had to find it at Target. They quit carrying it. So now I get it online. And this is a Suave Professional. What I do is I just shake it and then go into my fresh hair and kind of work it through. And it gives a little bit of body. It kind of helps styling. So for me, this would be the, the dry shampoo that I pick. Plus, it, it's got the best smell, I think, to it. So... Here are my dry shampoos. I either use a Batiste or if it's fresh day hair, then I use a Suave. Love them both. Now for styling, I have two styling sprays that I use. One is Paul Mitchell, and I've been using this for probably 20 years. This is the Paul Mitchell Freeze and Shine and a sculpting spray. I have fine hair. I it's very straight, it's fine, and I live in a humid climate. So I need this to really give my curl a hold. So what I do is I take fresh curl and I kind of separate them so that I get the most fullness out of my curl. And then I just hold it out and I'll do a spritz of this Frisian shine. And then I hold it till it dries. And then that will hold all day and through the night. So this would be my Paul Mitchell Freeze and Shine. I have another hair styling product that I use and this is Aussie and this is Instant Freeze. It's not quite as holding for me as the Paul Mitchell Freeze and Shine, but it's very similar. I do love it. I like the smell and I also, I think I buy this at Target and or CVS and it again, you just spray on the end of my curls and I hold it like I do the Paul Mitchell and then it sets that curl but i do love it it is aussie instant freeze i use it the same i just take the curl and kind of spray the bottom of it and then up through the root to let that hold and kind of give myself a little bit more volume i do love them both talk to you about a couple of items that i just picked up on amazon that i am loving right now and they're on the amazon website so i want to bring those to your attention in case you like them too it's this turtleneck white sweater knit sweater turtleneck it's got the cold shoulder which i'm really into right now this was only 28 dollars on amazon it comes in extra small all the way up to xxl i think it's so pretty on i love it so much that i bought it also in black and i had this on in one of my videos i think it's so pretty so i've got the white then i've got the black now 
I also picked up recently, and this was in my favorites video, is this cutout shoulder. Isn't that pretty? With a bell sleeve, three quarter inch bell sleeve. It is so pretty. These are small I have on. This is a medium. They are high quality. I love them. Another thing I wanna show you real quick is a new lipstick that I have on. It is a Sephora lip cream. I think it's so, so pretty. This is a lighter color than I usually use is bright lip. This is more subdued. This is the color number 13 and it is a real, real pretty, pretty pinky nude on me. I think it's gorgeous. So it's a new color for me and I wanted to point that out. I'll also link that below. I get it Sephora, of course, because it's Sephora lip cream. So that's everything that I use on my hair. I hope you guys find that informative. I'll link everything that I've talked about below in case you want to check it out. I'm also going to be doing how I color my hair and what I use. That video is going to be coming up soon and some hairstyling videos. If you like these kind of videos and you're not a subscriber, please subscribe before you leave. Leave a comment below and give this a thumbs up. And that's it. Thanks so much for tuning in. In, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.